Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Gil Webb Show, and I couldn't be more pleased. I couldn't be happier if I lost a bet. Uh, with me today, I have uh, Bob Schneider and Hayes Carl. Interesting story. Uh, I was doing a yard sale. I'm actually in the middle of a yard sale right now in my ex-wife's house. The through line being, it's mostly my gear, and she'll get her damn money, all right? Is this legal, us being here? That's a fine, twisted little gray area you're bringing up there. You know what I mean? It's like... On the one hand, it's medical marijuana. On the other hand, I'm not sick and want to get high. Um, that being said, while we go down that road, how many goddamn bands are you in right now, Bob? What, uh, what's going on with that? If you're hard pressed for money, Bob, you know, as I say, Austin needs coffee too. So I think just looking at those uh, hands, you'd make a dynamite barista. Hayes, you love coffee, don't you? Yeah. yeah. You got a new album coming out? What's your scene? I don't, I don't, right. I just came for the yard sale? The, yeah. You got a music story, though. It seems like something close to something, uh, transvesticism and corn. <laughs> you college days? Yeah, well, we, we I used to detassel corn up in Iowa. We would go and, and... I don't even know what that means, but I'm already excited. So anyway, it gets very hot in the summertime. Right. The, the corn is abrasive and can cut you up, and so you would want to protect yourself. Those husks are mean, aren't they? Yeah, it was surprisingly so, and so yeah. we, would, we would wear uh, full lengths cotton dresses in the cornfields in the summer uh, to, you know, to do the detasseling. Was there a dance later on that y'all were, uh, you would go to, like, while you were wearing the dresses? Well, no, was it something was, you'd like to talk about? Is the plot, no, the was, plot thinning? What's going on with that? It was really that? just 20 guys in a Iowa cornfield that would camp out for a month and wear dresses. Gentlemen, this is a place of healing, all right? So if it needs to come out, if there's a dark past, I want to hear about it. I want to hear about it right now because it can, it can do nothing but good. I want you to unburden yourself of your latent transvesticism and dancing with corn-fed Iowa boys. Let's talk about that. <laughs> it wasn't really like that. It was, it was, you know, it was just a practical thing, really. I'm not married to the truth. And, you know, as I've often said, just because it didn't happen, and I imagined it doesn't mean that it's not any less real for me. You know what I mean, Bob? You spell what I'm no, stepping in? No, Nothing? I don't know what you're talking No. In time, it's time, it's time and again to take my leave of you. Perfect timing, Bob, so good. It's time, goodbye, goodbye, my old friend. Well, I bid you sweet adieu. The Gil Webb Show. Thank you so much for joining. Is that fit? Hmm? Is that, is that That's fit? $2,500. $2,500? Yeah. That seems a little <laughs> steep. <laughs> That's crazy. Are you having a glass case or something? No, it comes pretty much like that. That too.